Yo, what's up? This is uh, Luke. I'm Ian. Cleo Patrick. Uh, we're out here on the Bummer Tour. First time touring in five million years. That's an over-exaggeration. Hyperbolization, if you will. We're going to be here uh, showing off the van. Uh, this will be our home for the next five weeks. And uh, yeah, we're here. We'll show you around. We like to split the driving. Uh, it seems to be like a nice bureaucratic system we've come up with. Where someone looks tired, uh, someone will step in and take over. It's kind of how we, it's an honor system. Yeah, we like to vibe it out. That's kind of a, a rule of thumb for mostly everything. The mantra, if you yeah. will, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, it's a tradition around here. Co-pilot is in charge of making sure pilot stays awake. Obvious key uh, thing, you know, you can get sleepy on the road and the long droning highways can be a lot. So that's co-pilot duty to provide snacks, tunes, John Mayer specifically, and only John Mayer. No, that's not true. We're pretty new in this van. We've only been in here for Four days now, so we, it's a rental. It's a rental. It's not. Uh, it's not too messy yet. We got. We're pretty strapped. We got the Can 95Es. Uh, we leader? got the Niagara. A liter. Lemon scented. We decided to list it as a thousand milliliters. We could have what abbreviated that. Didn't notice that. We got our uh, extra special Spider-Man one. Our uh, front of house tech uh, Brandon actually just gifted that to us. So shout out to Brandon. Yeah. Pulled that out of nowhere. It's an awesome little hand sanny. Right here we keep receipts. <laughs> As you can see, we've only had four meals since we got on tour. As you can see, <laughs> we like Panera bread. And my finger is crooked, so. Isn't this your mom's GPS? Yeah, it's my mom's GPS. She gave it to us before our first tour. Our faithful uh, voice of reason mm. sometimes tries to bring us to the wrong places, but we, we manage, you know? We manage. We're touring with... Uh, our best buddies in a band called Ready the Prince. Sure. Our, our support for this entire bummer tour. Um, so we're all sharing this van together. As you can see, there's quite a few uh, spots. We have a couple extras, because there's only, what, six of us? Seven yep. of us, including our, our front of house tech, Brandon. Um, maybe you want to tell them about, about this row? What happens here? This row is pretty cool, because this is for like the kind of alert people, like people who kind of, <laughs> they, may, they may keep their eyes on the road a little bit. They may want to chat, you know? It's like, it's a pretty like, it's a pretty neutral row. Like you can you can kind of rest your eyes here, but you can also chat. It's like it's very neutral. Mm -hmm. So we're always switching, but uh, as of late, uh, our our sound tech Brandon he's been rocking this spot. He's got a cool blanket there, and uh, the drummer for Ready the Prince, our buddy Jeff, uh, he's been rocking this seat quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and back here, this row. This row has been kind of, I've come back here a bit, Luke's come yeah. back here a bit. Our tour manager, Jake, he, he likes to be in this row. It's good for like being on your laptop and like either doing stuff or like pretending you're doing stuff. Yeah. You know, sometimes I just pull up my laptop because I think I have something to do and I'm just like, oh, <laughs> I don't. Um, but yeah, this is like, this row is cool, you know, it's a bit darker. Like you're, I feel like you'd be more likely to close your eyes back here. But um, well, the real magic happens. And by magic, I mean... Silence. This is where people come to chill. Yeah, so this, we got some snacks here. This, uh, these are pretty much all courtesy of, uh, again, our, our sound tech Brandon. He hooked us up with a lot of snacks to fill up with this bag. What do we got here? We got some Smart food. Different branding uh, from Canada, what it would be yeah. in Canada. Yeah. yeah, it looks completely different. It's actually unidentifiable, but it's the same thing. Turns same, out it's one of my favorite popcorn. popcorns. Yeah. Cool. What else we got in here? Got Doritos. Yeah, that's a that's a classic. Actually, they're called Goritos in Canada. No, that's not true. Um, sorry. Uh, what about we got? Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. Are you mm. kidding me, Brandon? We're out here. What do we got here? More hand sanitizer. You can never be too safe. No, that's. Oh yeah, it is hand sanitizer. With aloe. Yeah, with aloe. I got confused. That's the nice stuff. What else we got in here? Wow. Cheetos. Holy crap, dude! I didn't even know we had mm. these. So this is great. Man. Here, we're live. Some more Doritos. Man, a mixed bag of chips. That's pretty much the gist. It's kind of repetitive after that. But, uh, Actually, most important snack. Water. So this apple from <laughs> Panera a couple of days ago. So get, can I tell yours, a story? Right? Can I tell a little story? So get this. We go to Panera Bread, right? Panera Bread. You know how like they're probably known for their bread. I'm assuming. <laughs> 
And the lady to me, she says, um, she said, would you like a baguette, an apple, or chips? What was the other? I don't know. A baguette or an apple. I had the option between a baguette or an apple. And I got an apple, and I got this goofy looking apple. And I was so disappointed when all my friends had baguettes. And I had this goofy apple. And it's probably delicious. But, nah. Oh! It's a great apple. <laughs> so back here, normally this is where we keep our luggage, but as of right now, it's just six coats, and then this little guitar um, that we use for doing a little bit of vocal warm-ups or whatever. It's just a tiny acoustic guitar. It sounds super bad, like. <laughs> So, that's my go-to riff, really. Uh, I haven't really used this a lot, actually. I only really used it this morning to warm up. But it's there, should anyone need it. We're out here for five weeks, which kind of just started, so. Uh, I'm sure it'll come in handy. Jake's boots. One time in the, in the UK, Jake climbed a mountain in those boots. I'm pretty sure it was those ones, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. We went on a hike and he wore those. They're not normally this muddy, but we our first show back we actually, before we started the tour, we played a show in Nova Scotia, Canada, a little festival. And we were kind of unaware that it was going to be, well, I don't know, we just didn't expect, it was the muddiest show we've ever played. There was just mud everywhere. And Luke and I were both wearing our slick white kicks. Yeah, and these they were, were brand new before that show. Yeah, and they got pretty browned up and Jake's haven't really recovered, but uh, they're still cool. This is our trailer. Right now it's just got a little bit of extra merch in it. And uh, all of our dead cases. Yeah, some empty cases and such. But uh, all of our gear's inside the venue right now. When we bring it back out tonight, the pack is gonna be like absolutely monstrous. Um, which is taking it's been a bit of a, lear a learning curve, but but we're getting a good formula set up. Um, before this tour we toured in a trailer that we own that we could probably, it's so small that you could probably fit two of those trailers inside of this trailer. So, it's been a bit of a learning experience, but it's cool. Yeah, I like to think, well definitely uh, Jeff, this is our first time touring with uh, Ready the Prince, his drum, their drummer Jeff, uh, and he's he's got some really good ideas about, about the Tetris in the trailer. Yeah. And then, I mean, Ian and I have quite good Tetris skills as well. We're pretty... Uh, pretty locked in. Yeah. Thanks for checking out our van. We're Cleopatric. Our debut album, Bummer, is out now. That's what we're touring for, playing all the new songs. Uh, there's still some tickets left for certain shows. If you guys want to come out and, and mosh a bit, uh, you're welcome to join. See you there.